Thank you so much for sticking with us, everybody. Well, I want to keep the goodwill going today by honoring those who serve the men and women who serve our country. At Freedom Service Dogs, each dog is trained to provide help and care to military veterans. Look at these faces. They do so much more than be cute, everybody. They help out those who have served our country and who really need them most. Chipper is here to tell us more. You know, they say the proof is in the pudding. Well, he's curlier than pudding. <laughs> but that's the proof. Well, this is Chipper, and she's a standard poodle, and she's one of our wonderful uh, service dog ambassadors. And she's just going to hopefully sit here with me today and just hang out. She's um, a very smart girl and, and knows a lot of different cues that can help people with disabilities. Amazing. I would love for you to tell us about some of these cues and if she's up for it, maybe show us one or two. <laughs> well, we'll see if she'll do that. She might be a little bit rusty, um, but basically she is trained to pick up dropped items like keys or wallets. <laughs> Right now she's trying to pick up this ball because she also just so happens to love to play fetch. And that's one of the ways that we um, sometimes are able to train these dogs when they really enjoy playing fetch. It's helpful uh, to help uh, shape them into being able to pick up dropped items. Um, she can turn lights off and on. She can tug open doors or push them shut. Um, she also knows some of the cues that can help veterans with PTSD. So. For example, if they're feeling anxious or emotional or upset, um, she knows a cue that's called nudge, where she can go over and kind of nudge her nose um, into their face or into their lap, just to help bring them back into the present moment. So she's, she's a very smart girl and knows um, many different many different cues. This month, of course, we're giving thanks to the veterans who have done so much for our country. It is November. We just celebrated Veterans Day just a, a little bit ago here. So tell us more about Freedom Service Dogs and what you guys do to ensure that these veterans are safe and secure. Sure, absolutely. So Freedom Service Dogs is a Denver-based nonprofit. We do serve people all over the country, but we're located right here in Denver. And our mission is to transform lives by partnering people with custom trained assistance dogs. And we do that completely free of charge. So we serve veterans, uh, children with autism, and adults with a variety of disabilities and, and all free of charge. So of course, um, our nonprofit uh, relies on the generosity of our amazing community in order to uh, make our mission happen. Yes, amazing. Let's talk too about why this means so much to the veterans who needs these, who need these dogs most. I mean, have you heard a lot from the people that have come in and, and been able to get dogs from you guys? Absolutely. You know, we have veterans who will say that getting a service dog truly has changed their life and it brings them out of isolation. It allows them to really get back to the, the independence um, that they perhaps lost because of their disability, particularly dealing with PTSD, oftentimes they will really isolate themselves and having the dog by their side helps them to be able to really get back to the, the life that they may have lost uh, through their time in the service. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I can only imagine how much these dogs help. I want to end too by asking you, why does this mean so much to you personally, Erin? I mean, how has it felt to be, to be able to not only work with these amazing animals, but to help so many people who have been affected by things like PTSD? Oh gosh. I mean, it, it really is. It's a dream job for me personally to be able to not only um, get to be around dogs all day, but then to take it to the next level where these dogs go on to truly change people's lives and have such a, a huge impact for them. So it means the world. And uh, I absolutely love what I do. And I feel fortunate to have even a small part in it um, and just feel very lucky to be a part of Freedom Service Dogs. Well, Erin, we're really, really happy that you are a part of Freedom Service Dogs, and we're so happy for all the things you do and for making it just a little bit easier for the veterans who bravely fought and served for our country. So thank you so much, Erin. It's been a pleasure. And thank you, Chipper. You did great. <laughs> thank you for having us. Oh my dog, these pups are making life a little bit easier for our veterans. Visit coloradogivesday.org or head straight to their website, freedomservicedogs.org, to donate extra treats to these good boys and girls.